He does get tagged, but he finds the kill. And it's all on S tag in the site with the AWP, and this is dangerous. We've seen Oppers do this before. You can isolate one on ones, and he's got the first. And the cell is the next one up over the box, and there is a shot. It's a no scope. That is insulting. Yeah, that shot from Config was so important to hit there. Oh, he's going to go for it again. This time he nails it. Config being a nightmare. He's going to get in front of that volley. I think he goes for more. Oh, it's unfortunate that gets extinguished. Does he push through the smoke? Does he dare one more time? Maybe with a pop flash, perhaps? But now he's given his team an advantage and he waits for the reinforcements to come. He's done a lot of work in these past two rounds. Oh, Nightmare might be the understatement of the year, but Yugi, potential aplenty. So much firepower. He's got a small chance of this, but all oh, the flash is good. While he's coming in, he's trying to readjust, plays out dark a little bit, looks towards that CT side. Oh my god, they almost line up. He finds one. Oh, the follow-up is... Oh! oh! Yugi! What is that? And essentially. Yeah, it's good to see when Steel uses that flash. There it goes. Doesn't quite get all of them done. Scoot all forced off the angle at least. But now Stewie, excuse me, Stewie's still waiting on the site. His molly did come through as well. T side looking a little bit worse for wear now. Hey, he did connect, but there's the cleanup. Fnatic's been crushing those dreams for years now, haven't That's they? That's the best thing, isn't yeah. it? It's like this, the, you're not the first people who've done this to. Don't you worry. There's other people in the support group you can go have a nice chat with afterwards. Hi, my name's Space Soldiers, and I too have been completely crushed by Fnatic. And it looks like we're going to be seeing it again. Two players remain for Space Soldiers. Fnatic secure themselves surely further into this tournament now. And it's just down to engine, running a little low. Just running off fumes at this point. Yeah, this was... Uh, it almost feels like it was always going to be this way. I mean, the tough part for Space Soldiers, they had some kind of cool mid-round calls. Yep. I thought some of the tactics they brought out on the T side, a little archaic it seemed, just straight up A executes. And, and I mean, those can work on... Mouse wards. He has been better in recent memory, but still, that's not what you want for the Mouse Wars side. It's going to be simple with the secondary orb there. Goes down, but Guardian's there to pick up the pieces as we go into a 4 on 3 potentially the last round here. Chris Chade is down to a scout. Getting inside of the site, we'll get to at least Sandwich. Let's get Chris working up from Connector. It's Flamey that watches, though, from CT. Finds the first pick on to Dennis. Just two to go. Rops and Chris J. Rops will try and get close to and plant the bomb, but there's no utility, and his teammate's gone. He's in a one versus four, and he's gone. It's Navi into the corner. There's nothing he can do from the top of the box. They completely leave that side of the map open. Fur's going to try and respond by rotating back in, and he does catch off Kenny. And it can. Not so much a fake, just trying to cause a nuisance, and call for his teammates on the timing. When he spots two players in a certain area, like Ivy, he can say, this is the time to go inside. There's long rotations, and this is the key duel now. Naf Vi gets his first kill, which he does fall back. This could be enough just to win the round. Except to Carrigan. Trying to do what he can here. Lurking towards Ivy. Oh, dead. Good flash from Rush. Dead indeed. Go toward B on this. They lose the two elsewhere, so might as well throw all the eggs in a single basket. The basket is the B site, and Nafly is a vulture that wants the eggs. He's going to wait as well, but a flash means he doesn't have the vision, gets it back in time, and Nico's too slow to get to the bomb site, so he goes down. Naf, good response, takes down Rain as well. He's been a decent secondary opera in the past. He shows up in this round. Area, he could actually come in and find a couple of kills here. This could be the end. We'll see. Naf, good find on Keo. AK picked up as well. Damage as they cross the Told fires, you. and it could well be the end. Spray down for Naf. Alu found. Just Kerrigan that remains. It's three pistols, but it's three versus one. Be careful. AK firing on means that they're approaching from all other angles. Good read to find Mixwell as he goes back the other direction. Kerrigan as well is going to go all the way back, hence why Hayes is more hesitant to push all the way through to the Brown Halls. Going to give up the B site. Oh, this is so tough. Could go either way, Kerrigan. Very intelligent player. Gets the plan here. Boosts his chances. He's going to be going for it. He thinks he's done enough to separate the CTs. Indeed, he has. They have not got a kip. One kill, bring it down to the 1v1. He pretty much guarantees it, considering they don't have a rifle here. Good smoke. A lot of pressure for Optic. One round will do it. So he's coming in for the lower round. Dinks him as well, and that's it. The 5 7. The in to hold so long as his teammates can keep the pressure on Phelps and stop him from getting out in the kitchen for free. JW might just be able to blindside Fallen and Fur completely here. But he goes for the peak, the information play, gets caught. Molotov gonna force him out. That one Molotov, that's the only nade that SK had and it's used perfectly. Fallen with two kills and a third as well. One smoke and it's just gonna be the straight A run. YOLO. Flashbang right in Phelps' eyes, Fur's eyes and try and fall back immediately. Phelps will pick up uh, some great headshots. Closing out the round with a quad kill mid-air on Crims. And there's the flash to try and set things off. It's not going to be effective, and they just go and rush him down. Man advantage now for Cloud9. Oscar 
We saw some flashy play from here earlier with S-Tag. Now it's going to be up to him, and it's not going to happen. What? Are the pistol, the headshot as well, takes all three. Off the wall into second mid. At least that. Just a little bit of pressure. Just something to make Mouseboard stop just running up here wholesale and setting up doing whatever they want. Automatic is set up close to mid, but they're gonna flash their way through. What a great setup from him, right in the middle of the smoke. Triple kill with the UMP, picks up the AK and nearly gets the quad. Oscar down to under 40 health. New boxes and one in dark. That's the one Molotov that Mouseports actually had to clear out an angle. So now it's all on Shroud. He's got a Galil, he's got to hit some headshots and nothing as well from Banana. Will they deliver? Oh, the pre-fire actually takes the kill. Shroud gets one, and he's still got a bit more left. Eight bullets here, goes for the tab, takes another one in. Now Lowell has to go for the ace clutch, and he's going to get the first on Shroud. And now he comes out with the kit, tapping the bomb once, and nothing's waiting for it on the other side. Lowell gets it, but there's no time. It's the ace. Frag. Two defenders here in the pit area for Mouse Sports. This is perfect, although Automatic gets in the perfect spot. They needed to get that kill on Dennis, but he stays alive, and he can make the difference here. He's buying more and more time. Sorry, four seconds. The round is done. That was the bomb down in the middle of everything, and Dennis to save it. Go for the boost at new boxes. Yeah, probably yeah we just, saw this earlier from Heroic. Probably just boost Lowell up there and let him, mm -hmm. let him stick around. Oh, that's so insanely frustrating. This is going to be so difficult. The push begins, and Lowell assassinates one, sprays down another, and Chris is still alive here to help out. Got not that many counter grenades still, but Lowell is doing his work with the FAMAS. They actually a team kill coming in, and Chris with a headshot to close it out. If he sees that no one is here, he could try and do it again. Hasn't spotted anyone out. He's still scoped. They're throwing grenades, but they're landing behind him. Oscar getting the kill with the AWP. Misses oh. the shot, but so does Stewie. Very odd engagement that's going up here. He's trying to buy time with the Molotov. Oscar doing even more work now for the double. And Shroud and Stewie are in a lot of trouble. Grenade could have almost taken down Stewie. Everybody is flashed on either side of this ridiculous fight that's hibernating inside of the smoke. Oscar comes out with a kill and takes the last one for the quad as well. The flash to lead the way. Dennis spots the man. Skadoodle getting shot in the face, but luckily for him, he survives and that buys enough time for nothing. And Skadoodle, it all comes down. Cloud9 will be playing. And actually, look at this mad dash down the middle from Kiyoshima. Rain finding one. Nico with a headshot. Rain again. And Kiyoshima taking down MSL. That officially launches the pistol round, and it's all hell for North. They don't get a sing. Three on five now with only 20 seconds left. Nico will deliver one headshot for his team, but the crossfire is still alive here on the A site. Nico with a second kill will take down. Though Keo now steps in as well. Can't even finish the sentences before these guys are dying. This is not Nico in a 1v2 clutch situation, AK in hand, no nades. They don't have any either, and that's huge. Another headshot coming in. Config going for the peak. Nico looking for the one tab. Just needs a single bullet, and there it is. Oh my god, Nico 